Hey everybody, welcome back to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I'm doing a series and this series is called What Makes This Singer Great? And the next great guy coming up is Otis Redding. I'm doing a whole series on Motown and I've, I've covered Marvin Gaye, I've covered uh, Otis, I've covered Wilson Pickett, I've covered Al Green, Aretha, and a bunch of other guys, gals. Um, and uh, if you guys don't mind, before we get started, please like and subscribe to my channel, that would be really cool. Uh, don't forget to ring the bell so I can keep more videos coming your way. And I have a singing course. It's called How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else. You can find it right here at KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com for those of you that are interested in learning how to sing and sing well. So what, what makes Otis Redding great? Well, lots of things. One thing, he's got a killer voice, his tone, uh, his sensitivity is amazing. Uh, he is probably one of the most influential and inspirational Motown singers of all time. And him, Otis, I mean, excuse me, Wilson Pickett, uh, Marvin Gaye, like I said, Al Green, some of the guys we're covering in this whole series. Um, so definitely influential. Um, I think of songs like Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, right? And you got guys like Michael Bolton covering it, who did a great job too, by the way. In fact, his band was a few of the members of Journey. It was uh, Jonathan Cain and Neil Sean on guitar. Um, and then you've got Try a Little Tenderness. I mean, we're gonna do that here, actually. I'm gonna uh, play it and comment along the way. Uh, you've got I've Been Loving You Too Long, or So Long, Too Long. I've Been Loving You Too Long. Uh, hard to Handle, right? We've seen uh, the Black Crows cover that. A lot of people have covered his music. Uh, I Love You More Than Words, another amazing tune. A Change Is Gonna Come. Now, he covered a Sam Cooke song, um, and it's interesting, too, because he did quite a few covers also, and, and his originals were amazing, too. Cigarettes and Cops. I mean, you know, he's got a lot of stuff out. But uh, anyway, let's just kind of dive right in and we'll uh, talk about it as we go along. Here we go. Oh, she may be weary. Them young girls, they do get weary. Good note Wearing choices. Wearing that same old miniskirt dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when she gets weary. I think they're showing people like from the war, Woodstock. <laughs> I don't know. Old footage. I want to see him. I know she's waiting. Anticipating. Just anticipating the thing that you'll never, never, never possess. So, so listen. Right, he's got a really interesting tubular round sound. So it's not like Wilson Pickett where it's like really distorted. Um, you know, yeah. Hey, yeah, here I am. I'm a man on the scene. I can give you what you want, but you got to come home with me. Right? You listen to some of that stuff, and he's got just a real snappiness to his sound. So he's either really tender on a sound like this. He's more tender in the sound, or um, he's got kind of a a real, you know kind of in your face, sort of snappy, but not over the top, like not a really aggressive, um, distorted, growly kind of sound, but just kind of like a real uh, swaggy, soul swaggy, kind of, you know, riffy kind of sound. So um, let's continue, here we go. But while she there waiting, try just a little bit of tenderness. That's all you got to do. I think it's, this is the Monterey it Festival in 1967 or something. So they've got all these people in the 60s, late 60s. But she has a and Isn't it weird to think that these kids that you're seeing in this video right now from 67 are like almost my age, they're in their 50s now. It's kind of creepy to think about that. But it's also interesting too then to say, well gosh, if the music is this old, how timeless is it? It transcends all this time. Now, I'm not saying it's like new music today. Thankfully, it's not, uh, because a lot of new music isn't as cool and as soulful as this. But um, how interesting that, you know, we're looking at something way back when, and I'm, I'm hearing the video like a 136, and there's a kid with a headband on. That kid is probably almost my age right now. I'm 56, he's probably 53, something like that, whatever. Um, anyway, and uh, to think that this music has transcended time to where we could look back as though it didn't even really exist. Time didn't really exist. It's just great music and we appreciate it, right? I think that's really cool and he's certainly very instrumental in making that happen because of writing timeless music and something we can still enjoy to this day. So, yeah, 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 yeah. just an observation. But but. The soft word 
they all spoke so gentle, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it makes it easy to bear. Oh, she won't regret it, no, no. Nice big fat warm round of vocals. Now I'd love to see his performance more, just of him singing. And I, I didn't necessarily want to see all these people from the '60s, whatever. Um, but and I hadn't seen this before, by the way. So uh, yeah, I have to kind of do what we are allowed to use on YouTube to kind of whatever. But anyway, with that said, guys, go check out his original version of "Sitting on the Dock of the Bay" and just the, just the. Gosh, the sensitivity is, I can't think of a better word, the intimacy and sensitivity and just the soul, the genuine, true soul coming out of him. And then listen to Michael Bolton's version. He did a good job, but not as soulful as Otis. Now, I like, I do like the Black Crow's version of Hard Handle. Listen to that. I think um, Chris did a great job on that song. Very rock blues rock kind of oriented, but he did it in a way that was really cool. Um, so I, I recommend that. And if you guys, whatever you can think of, put it in the comments section, what you think makes Otis great. And if you have a song that I missed or something you think that uh, really uh, should have been showcased that I didn't get to showcase. And I'm doing most of this by request. So if you can think of something or a singer that you'd like me to do, uh, please put that in the comment section as well and check out my next video.